Hi, all you lovely creative people. This is June from Oak Witch Lane Designs. How are we? I know I'm a minute early, but you know what? I'm sitting here, so I figured I might as well get started. Okay. A um, couple of things before I start, and it'll be real quick. My sister won't be with us, so Cora, if you're watching, hi, sister. Hi. Um, she's not feeling well, so she's not coming on tonight, unfortunately. But if she changes her mind and I see her, I'll let her come in. You know, I'll see her on the bottom of my screen over here. The second thing is a little bit of a sad thing, but then we're going to try to ship the show over. Uh, a friend of mine, her name is Penny. Sometimes she's in the chat. She's been going through a very, very hard time. So um, uh, whatever you do, pray, send light, just send a person good wishes, healing wishes to a person named Penny. And I would appreciate that very much. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna mention what happened. Uh, if she comes on, she can mention it or if it gets talked about in chat. So, okay. I'm going to switch everybody over because I want to start doing uh, what I have to do over here. And I'm just going to move my camera. Hopefully I don't screw that up. And it's there. Now I can turn on the light because the light's pretty intense. Okay. Whoa, there it goes, everybody. And I don't want my camera mirrored. Okay. So now that the movement is gone. All righty. So let me get up my chat since I'm already where I'm supposed to be. And all right. So I have, um, oh, and I should have got the mold out. Whatever. I have uh, napkin rings for Halloween. I have napkin, napkin rings for Thanksgiving, but I did not have napkin rings for Christmas. So, um, I did, uh, I don't know, I think last year I did a whole bunch of napkin rings, and I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. I did a lot of the work that, um, yesterday and this morning because I was using paper clay. This is the mold I used. It's called um, Redesign with Prima. I don't know the name because I've listed this name before, but here is the mold so you can see it. If you want to purchase it, it's, I don't even know if it's available. I have no idea. I'm really helpful, aren't I? But there's no number on this, but here's the mold. And I put paper clay in this and I wrapped it around a, and this is so light, it's not picking it up, a toilet paper roll. You can see some of that in there. And um, because the paper clay, I just got some new one, but I wanted to use up my old paper clay. It was a little bit yucky because when it gets old, it gets a little bit harder. It cracked a lot. So I spent this morning, um, using more paper clay, uh, which I mixed with a little wood glue to try to smooth them out a little bit more because of course I'm going to be painting these and they will be painted gold. But first I want to go through and smooth out some of the, um, which you would call discrepancies or places where the mold isn't that great. So we are getting prepared. My sister is coming for Christmas in case everybody didn't know that yet. She's going to be having a whirlwind visit and um, I have been recently, especially this year, I've been, well, I, I did it during the years of, of COVID where we couldn't go anywhere. I um, set my table and I leave it as part of the decorations. Now the table, when my sister comes, we're going to be making the raviolis. So that's going to have to get on set. But you know what? It looks nice when you walk in to see, because uh, I have, Christmas China called Holly Ribbons. And um, Barbara, you're here, sweetheart. Hi, how are you after your whole day affair trying to get your doggies groomed? Oh my goodness, what a thing, especially during the holidays. This is my um, polymer clay roller, which I never use for polymer clay. 
very rarely. But it's giving me some place where I can cut off a little bit of the toilet paper rolls. It's me and you, Barbara. It's going to be a nice, nice night. You're tired, but okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I had, uh, I did two walks today. So I got over my 10,000 steps, which I have to do. Uh, I try to do that five days a week, one day over 5,000. And one day I don't even put the tracker on because I'm not doing any of it. Um, yeah, it's been busy. Barbara and I have been talking about it. I, I, I'm like spinning like a top. We um, almost are finished decorating. We just finally got a the last of the garlands, the pine garland. I bought them from Balsam Hill, so they were uh, the, the most realistic ones. And um, I find we finally got that today. So Megan and I are going to put because they took off the lights. I don't like the lights that they have on. These ones happen to be electric lights. So Megan and I, I took off the lights today and Megs and I will put it and then I am done decorating decking the halls. Okay, Shirley. Hi, you're here in the background. No problem, Shirley. I'm glad that you're here at all. Enjoy the show. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? So I'm done decorating as of hopefully tomorrow. Uh, it's, it's been a little bit different this year. Megan and I were talking about it because one of the things is I painted my living room. My living room walls were, uh, one wall was totally red. And I'm talking, uh, if you look it up, hunting coat red, Ralph Lauren, hunting coat red. Or, um, so it was red. And the other three walls were red on the top and then the beige or the, it's called the wicker something color on the um, bottom. And we painted it. And um, then the TV came up. So we had a re, the room was switched around. So decorating, you know, the last couple of years, the room has been the same. So you know where everything goes or pretty much. You can change some of it. But this year, everything got changed around and um it was a little bit dip more difficult because uh, I, I put up different garlands and stuff oh uh, thank you shirley thank you sweetie and uh so let's see what was i say so it took us a little while longer because we added some things um and then we just had to get used to it because the room the room always looked really nice during christmas it was always a little dark because the red like i said if you look up the color it's ralph Lauren hunting coat red i believe it was it was a deep red uh it was sort of like this red only darker i think and it was very pretty and it really shone during christmas but any other holiday it really didn't look so great so um we just decided to paint it all in what the rest of the downstairs well for the most of the house is painted in this one color and uh so that meant redoing everything so we're finally getting it together, and now I'm really sort of happy with, with the way it looks, especially when we finish the garland tomorrow. And, um, yeah. So it's done. All <laughs> Megan made a decree, and she's hysterical. Gosh, I love it. Um, well, I love her, but any bones skulls or ravens that were left downstairs had to have christmas hats or something christmasy so there were two ravens downstairs all of the other bones and everything else have been put away except for the bone basket because we needed that i mean i don't have a chimney so uh the stockings are hung i have a long sofa table that we put the tv on and the stockings are hanging under that, but they were flopping around for some reason. So we put the bone basket back just to, because the leaves gave the stocking support so they wouldn't look so bad. And um, 
So that's why uh, Archibald got the top hat. But the real reason why Archibald got that top hat was if everybody remembers way back when, because I haven't finished it, I was doing a Scrooge mouse and I made that top hat for Scrooge. But when I was messing with it the other day or a week or two ago, whenever I was messing with it, I it cracked on the brim and we can't, I will not sell anything like that. So that hat had to go, but I didn't want to throw it out because I worked on it. So I fixed it up and I get, put it on Alistair so he could, not Alistair, Archibald, so he can go downstairs. And the raven that's above on the, the antique clock, he got a Christmas hat. So I, my two ravens are decorated for Christmas. I'm going, yes. Yes, I'm going to take pictures, Barbara. I will be taking pictures and... Um, I will be posting them on Facebook. I just have to get the rest of it done. Hey, Antonio, how is your how is your foot feeling? Cora's not going to be here tonight, Antonio. She's not feeling good. She might be she might be watching. I don't know. Maybe she's laying down. But if she's watching, hi, my sister. Also, if my Aunt Ev is watching, hi, Aunt Ev. I sent her the link too. So I'm just sanding these to make these as smooth as possible um, with all the paint that I'm going to be putting on them. Well, I'm thinking of spray painting them gold instead of, but first I have to paint them with the base coat and we'll get into that. But I'm just tidying them up a little bit and see how far we can get. And I have a few other little projects that I can do if I... Uh, get this done quick enough because I have been working on them early, you know, earlier. Thank you, Barbara. So I'm using the crutch to walk around. Your foot's in a boot, right? Antonio's foot, um, it's out of the cast, and I think it was in a boot. I think that's what you told me. And he's going for rehab twice a week, which is lovely, painful as hell. Oh, and the other thing that I was doing was um, two years ago, I bought a new artificial tree. And we didn't want to just toss out the old one, but it was the lights weren't working and it was getting old and it was shedding just as much, almost as much as a real tree. Because after a while, those pine needles shred, shed and it was annoying me. So I said, OK, I wanted to get a new one and I got a new one um, that's more open because I like swoopy trees. I do. I love swoopy trees. I don't like full trees i like them to be a little bit um bare sort of like a uh a charlie brown's christmas tree only a little bit better than that you know and um but i took some of the branches and i was trying to make a garland out of them and oh my goodness gracious what a pain in the entire body that was okay that was a pain Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Anthony, Antonio. I'm looking, Anthony, Antonio. I call you 50 different names by the end of this thing, you know. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, that took me, a, uh, it took me quite a while because first of all, I didn't feel like doing it because it was difficult and Second of all, I finally got it done. It's a little too thick for everywhere that we, because there's really no other place to put it except for the one window, but I was getting gall and coming. So I'm just going to pack it away. It's done. It's together. Uh, it's not like I think it's uh, maybe four feet long. So um, I can always use it for other things, you know, get it together, use it for other things, but it's not going to be out this year, but it is done. So it's not in my to-do list 
for any other year. I like to try to get a lot of the uh, to-do lists done because you never know what next year will bring because, you know, we never knew what this year was going to bring either. So, so once these are sanded down a little bit neater, and these were made, like I said, with paper clay. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. The other thing I wanted to mention was I had been using the air dry clay. And I have my pros and cons about it. And this is where I think um, how I stand on all of these products. I like using the resin in the mold, but sometimes I find it a little bit hard um, to bend it, if especially like something like this. Okay. Uh, but I like I like it as a freestander, especially like on a frame where I'm putting half of the mold off the frame, like the uh, raven's eye that's up above me. I do like resin for that. Um, the paper, the air dry clay. Hey Ashley, hi sweetie, glad you joined us. Um, the air dry clay I think works better on a surface that is flat and supported and i don't think i i tried it on one of these or i try and it, it just cracks too easily so i think that the air dry clay has to be supported by some kind of a base uh the whole piece so that's good if you're using it um on a picture or on a box or on a lamp or wherever you, whatever you want to use it on. That's my opinion of it. The paper clay is lightweight when it dries. It's pretty firm when it finally dries. It's a cracky type thing though. So you always have to, if you, if the cracks bother you, which in this piece they would, you have to go back and, and fill it like you're filling a wall with uh, plaster. Only use wood glue. I've been using wood glue. If you notice, this one's a little bit yellow, and I, I don't know if you can see that. It's because the wood glue dries a little bit yellow. Um, but I find that once these get dried, they're a little bit like they're firm. I mean, I wouldn't go throwing them against the wall, but... They're pretty firm for use, and um, hopefully, now I'm only making six. I usually like to make a, um, things for eight, but I'm only having five. It's only going to be five of us for Christmas, so six is good in case one breaks. Shannon's here, too. Hey, Shannon. All the, all the Higgins ladies are here. Lovely. So... While this is a pain in the neck, trying to make it as smooth as possible, they, it has its pros. Every Each one of them have their pros and cons. I guess um, I feel that the air dry clay um, is, is nice because it's less expensive than the resin. And, you know, it does keep the shape of the mold pretty well. And there are, perfect, you know, there are uses for it. Um, but, and the resin is good, but it doesn't hold it. I mean, I find it difficult and I haven't had a ton of experience to make it go in the shapes that I wanted to, like in this, a circle, um, you'd have to do it when it was, you know, like you have to time it just right. And it would, it would be, I don't know. It, I, I like it, but I don't, I wouldn't want to use it for this. And then we have the paper clay, which we all know has its pros and cons. Um, the only other thing that I've ever used in a mold was liquid polymer clay. And that I like for the little molds because that's expensive as heck. And um, they're flexible. That I like. 
but that would only be for little moles and that would be for uh, something that like I would use on uh, my mice or if I was making a sculpture, not a mouse. But this is going to be fine. They're, they're going to look okay. And one more. Yeah, your mom was, poor things, the doggies were getting groomed. And it, what was it? They were so far behind, Barbara? What a problem that was. So, uh, let's see, what else? That's about it that I have as far as if I can remember all the things that I have going. I made orange slices. Some of you might have seen it on Facebook. I made some new orange slices because my old ones were getting real dark. And I don't know if I cooked them enough um, because they're a lot lighter than the old ones. But you know what? If they rot out, they rot out as long as they last. I like making the orange slices, but that takes all day. I do not have a dehydrator. I put them in the oven and I put them at 185 and that's Fahrenheit in case there's people from anywhere else but the United States on here. I don't know what the Celsius equivalent is. Um, I decorate with them. I put them in my po like little potpourri bowl, um, bowls that I have. I put them on garlands i just i don't know i just like doing it it's a very i guess old-fashioned thing i am not my christmas tree and i'm going to take pictures of it my friend Teresa called it i'm um, dickinsonian i don't know it's red and gold uh, my favorite colors for christmas i've seen all sorts of beautiful gold white silver decorations um on, the, on YouTube because I've been watching a lot of Christmas, uh, Christmas, um, you know, decorate the house or Christmas crafts, Christmas ornaments, putting together this, that, and the other thing. But my colors are always red and gold for Christmas. And uh, where was I going with this? So the orange slices sort of fit in. You can make it into a garland. It's not really like an old fashioned Christmas and it's not wilderness because the gold, you know, like um, country wilderness, I don't know what they call it now. They have all these weird names for everything. Not weird, wilderness is not weird. Um, I guess Dickinsonian was, I hope that doesn't sound horrible. Um, so I just, I don't know. I just like having orange slices. I don't even know why I like baking them. Although I, like I was saying, that's right. Um, you slice them like a quarter, about a quarter of an inch. Let me, where's my ruler? My ruler here somewhere. Sorry. I'm looking under my, oops, all sorts of tools. Yeah. You, you slice them about no bigger than a quarter of an inch. Um, thick and you lay them on a baking tray with parchment paper and at 185 you have to turn I don't know it was four hours and they still weren't like very dark but I kept turning them every half an hour so I had to uh I had to put the timer on because you know I don't remember all of that I don't remember half an hour and stuff okay so let's get all of the sanding equipment and I'm going to put on the base layer of paint. It, I don't know. I just, I like the smells of oranges and cinnamon and stuff like that for the holidays and just a whole bunch of little, little, um, are we, are we really going to have a hard time with this? Because I didn't take off the thing. So, all right, we're just going to wait. Um, Had to clean out the candle sconces because I use, uh, I think it's called Thines Balsa candles, uh, which is one of the, because I like how, even though I have all fake greenery, I still like the smell. 
And so I had to clean out the candles that they came in like this green candle uh, thing. And I had been using it for years and it was time. It was like no longer um, good anymore. So I had to clean them out and then I had gotten, um, what do you call that? Voltives, but I put it in a little, a little voltive container in the green container because I didn't want to have to do the wax anymore. Do they put off, you know what? Um, no, it's only when they're, they're baking. I mean, if you put your, you know, I'm sure if you smelt them real close, but they don't smell up the house, which is another odyssey. Hey, Martha. Um, that I've been doing because the smell of, I love the smell of like the cranberries, the cinnamon and the orange and apples on a stove. Uh, you know, that smell, cause that smell, smells up the entire house um and i'm gonna be neat for a change here look at this i'm ready i'm ready to paint um and i've been trying to they don't have potpourri like they don't make them anymore for some reason you have to buy them where is that sheet hold on right back uh i didn't even leave okay Oh, that's another project we'll be working on in a little bit. So I got uh, a slow cooker. And um, I can't seem to be able to get the same smell from the slow cooker. It just wasn't working. So the best smell to get the orange slices to to smell up your house is to put it on the stove but you got to watch it and that's the problem you got to really watch and make sure that everything is okay uh and that it doesn't bo um, boil dry i'm trying not to get my other hand in this because i really would like to try not to get paint all over me for a change wouldn't that be wouldn't that be interesting? The reason why I'm doing it in this red brown color is, you know, to me, you always put metallics on dark colors. And I, like I said, I'm going to spray paint these, um, but I still want them on a dark color. And um, I didn't think the red acrylic would cover it enough. That's why I added a little brown. What I might do after I get this coat on it is put red because when I first what the gold leafing the fake gold leafing they said that the base color for gold should be red and the base color for silver should be black so is christine here too hey christine you just woke up hello so we are going to just sit here and paint For a little bit which is i know boring as hell so but the rest this is you know these are the crafts that i have to get done so um and unfortunately if i i'm gonna try the spray paint on one of them if that doesn't work then i'm gonna have to uh use the fake you know i call it gold leaf because that's what they call it but you know it's not real 24 karat gold leaf. It's that stuff they sell at the, the craft stores and stuff. And I'm just trying to get it mostly in the cracks. And I know that I'm, you know, my hand is taking off a lot of the paint, but that's okay because these are going to get a second coat anyway. And they'll probably get, you know, I, I'm not going to do the second coat tonight. I don't think unless I really get bored, but we got some other little things, like I said, on the thing, this and that. We got some other things to do. Everybody's still saying hello to everybody else? Good. So, <clears throat> um, let's see. Shopping is pretty much done except for my son because he's a Piaga and won't give me his list. I got one, a couple of things on his list. 
I don't, but I don't buy for my kids very, very little do I buy for my kids that they don't say that they want. Um, I, you know, I, they can tell me whatever they want. And, and if I, you know, if I can get it, I'll get it. Um, but I don't, except for, you know, little, uh, what do you call those stocking gifts? I don't like to surprise them because <clears throat> First of all, their tastes in clothes. Uh, we all have different tastes in clothes. And um, I wouldn't even think to, unless it was a robe, uh, to get them anything in clothing. And, you know, I always think that Christmas should be, if you you know, to get, get something that somebody wants, but they might not have wanted to spend the money for it on for themselves. So that's that to me is a nice gift. So wrapping will be I was going to do wrapping yesterday, but I was too busy with the stinking garland and not all the gifts had gotten here yet. So um, wrapping will be Saturday because Megan will be out of the house and <clears throat> for a little while and I can pretty much, you know, I don't know where Eddie's going to be, but we can pretty much, um, annihilate him from coming into the room while I'm wrapping presents. Cause I have to wrap presents on a table. Um, I was going to try... I've been doing the garland on the floor and I have to tell you, whoo, 66 year old woman up and down off the floor. I was getting, putting my paces in. Let me tell you that. All right. I have to buy three more people gifts and two dog gifts. Uh, I have to buy one more thing and I'm done. Nice. Well, I would be done if Eddie would give me his list, but, you know, hey. If he would give me an update on his list, but you know what? He's not going to give it to me, so he's not going to get it. That's all. Love you, Eddie, if you're listening. Eek. And then next week, Meg's doing the cookies. Oh, we're also cleaning the kitchen. Cora, if you're listening, this kitchen has never been cleaner. Let me just, <laughs> Meg is, Meg is, we're changing handles. She's cleaning drawers. She's organizing this. I've never seen my walls so clean. I'm supposed to get a paint job, but I'm not going to paint the kitchen. Let somebody else paint the kitchen. And, um, <laughs> These walls are sparkling, sparkling clean. I My job tomorrow is to clean the appliances. The, she already did the microwave, but I have to do the toaster oven, which I'm not sure I could ever get that thing clean. But I'm thinking that maybe that should be done more towards next week because, you know, it's going to get dirty again. But you know what? I'll clean it. If it gets dirty again, it gets dirty again. We use things and, you know, using your stuff makes it dirty. And that toaster oven really could use a cleaning though. So even if it's not spotless, it will be cleaner than it was. And this is the last one. So, okay. I got, wait a minute. I think I'm done just praying everything gets here in time. Yes, that's true, Ashley. I have a couple of things still coming in the mail, and they should be here by Saturday. I honestly didn't think I was going to get one of the gifts, but I, I got it. Um, I got a new bypass. What? Wait, I don't, okay, Chris, wait a minute. Oh, Martha, that's good. I'm coming back to you, Christine. Oh, Ashley, that's cutting it close. 
the 22nd. Oh, you're even cutting it closer. Okay, so what I got a new BiPAP, had a CPAP for about that, no problems. But this BiPAP, when I have an event, it shoots stronger air path and darn near tries to push my. Is this have something? Okay. What is what is a BiPAP and what is a CPA PAP? CPAP. I have no idea. Is this something for sleeping? It's a breathing machine. Thank you. Are you having trouble breathing, Christine? Did did I ever know that? Or is this for when you sleep? It keeps me awake when it's supposed to keep keep you asleep. You sleep in it. Ah, okay. And it shoots. Oops, knocking things off. Oops, I knocked over. Hector, hold on. I think it's Hector. Is that what we called it, Megan? I think, oh, his head. I I the hat. All right, hold on. We just got to fix Hector over here. Uh, it shoots strong air pad and it tries to push my, oh my gosh. All righty. Sorry, I, I, I'm I not familiar. When you sleep at night, you snore, stop breathing, you get better sleep. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you for um, letting me know what all of this stuff was. Okay. And we're almost done with this part of the ongoing napkin rings. Is it? Someone asked me that um, because I'm on Medicare. I got the nurse to call me. She was so sweet. They have to call once once a year. Who knew all of this stuff? You know, you find it out, I guess, when you need to know. And, you know, she went through how he, and, you know, how you're feeling? Are you lonely? You know, um, do you snore? And I said, yes. And she, she said, do you have sleep apnea? And I said, well, what exactly is sleep apnea? apnea? So she explained it to me. I mean, I heard about it and all that stuff, but I never knew what it really was. And um, she said, did you ever wake up like because you weren't breathing? And I said, no, you know, I, I usually keep everybody else up, but I don't wake up, you know, because of that. I either wake up because I hear myself snoring. So she was like, oh, okay, so you don't really have sleep apnea and stuff because I've never woke up feeling like I couldn't breathe, you know. Um I'm just touching up some of the other ones. I don't see that anybody's impressed that I'm wearing a glove. I'm impressed. I impressed myself. Probably drop the paintbrush all over me and get all messed up. Okay. All right. Where's Joanne? Is Joanne here? Huh. Joanne's not here. Hope she's okay. Did I miss anything? Because, you know, I've been very... I could miss lots of things going on. Just doing... Oh, maybe I should... I was going to wear one of those, um, those little... I have clear plastic gloves. But I just had this handy, so I said, let me just use this. Oh. Just, I want to get it in most of the grooves. So when I spray paint it, if I miss any areas, 
But like I said, we're going to have to do another coat of something on this. I might go a little bit redder, but I don't think the red has as much covering power as this, which is what I probably said already. Just get them going. Start them off. Okay. I find CPAP has setting where it slowly increases. You don't realize you have it unless you test it. Okay. It only ramps up high when you need it, then goes back down. When you sleep at night, you smell it's not breathing, you get better sleep unless you test it. Well, you know what, Christine? I don't want to, at this point in time, I'm afraid to go to any more doctors because every, you know, I, I don't know if we've talked about my, um, <sighs> well, we're not going to talk about it because that's going to get me aggravated. But I have to say one thing, and I'm going to try to look at the positive. Um, my doctor, my GP, aggravated me so much because of the meds she put, you know, supposedly that I needed, which I didn't think I needed, but I'm going to prove her wrong. And so I am on an exercise routine. I am eating. Um, I always eat pretty good, but I am eating so much better now. And um, I need new brushes. That's what I'm going to get myself for Christmas, a whole set of new Michaels brushes so I can ruin another set. Um, she is, anger is a very good motivator for change. That's what I'm finding out. And she aggravated me, so I'm changing because I am going to get off this med. Okay, uh, Ash, this does to increase an even pressure. This one has a sensor to increase what's needed. They hook you up to wires and let you sleep there. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Um, I'm going to pass on that for a little bit until I get off this rest of this crappy medicine. Okay, so now I need... From my artistic friends here, and hopefully it's going to be, oh, that I'll talk about it later. It'll be a consensus, okay? Ah, see, I told you, I knew I was going to get paint on me no matter what, even though I had the glove on. So let me get this and clean this off. This is a, this is a messy mat, but you know what? It's going to... I'm going to keep it until if I ever decide to move, it's not coming with me. Let me put it that way. All right. Um, all right. Here's, here's, let me get all this paint because I don't want to get paint on anything. All right. Here's a ball I'm making, and it matches my sister's colors. And can everybody see it? Now, I need, I thought I needed something for in between these, these ones. Do I need something for, now I put, I took these pearls that I had and I spray painted them with, um, it's, there is a spray paint called Shortcuts, and I should go and get the can. It's a real small can. You get like six ounces of spray. But according to uh, the internet that I could see when I was looking, doing this research about a year or so ago, because that's when I first started getting them, they were the nicest metallic colors. So I have the gold and I have the silver. So I spray painted the pearls in silver. Do we like it better with this on it? on all the spots that I don't have the dark gray ones, or do we like it better plain? What do we like? Okay. I know the lights we, oh, can I lessen the light a little bit? So hold on. Okay. Maybe that's a little easier on everybody's eyeballs. Um, here it is with it on in the spaces in between. And here it is without. Pearls. Okay. Oh, this is coming off. Who else? We need a consensus. Thank you, Martha, for your vote. 
is these rhinestones have gotten focata, focata glue. Bringing out the fabric tack. Pearls, kick it up, pearls. You're welcome. We got two pearls. Higgins, ladies, Shirley, Antonio, if you're here, all of you, what do you like? Silver pearls or gray? All right, I'm just going to let you all make a decision. I wish my sister was online. If she was here with me. Cor, if you're here and you're watching, text me. I know you don't want to come in. Well, you don't, it's not that you don't want to come in. You don't feel up to it. The pearls, the gray. Wait, okay. Ashley says just the gray, no pearls. Barbara, is the silver the pearls or just the gray? So I have two grays. Okay, I have two grays, two pearls. And two two. Can we have two two? Can we have three three three? Oh goodness gracious! I'm not sure what Barbara's is. She said silver. I'm not sure if she meant gray or the pearls. Okay. So you know what? Pearls. Okay, we have three pearls, two grays. Antonio, if you're here, do you have an opinion? You know what? I'm going to put on another one. Because this always drives me a little crazy with the fabric tack. Let's see if we can do this. A little coat there, a little run here, and a little bit there. If I have to, I can get them off. I'm not even sure I'm going to, you know, because this one caused me so much trouble, may I say. This one, I am beating an ornament now. Nice, Martha. Get the fabric tack off my fingers. And let's cut it. Where's my scissor? Okay. Gonna pull it up a little. Okay. What colors are you using, Martha? For your beaded ornament. I don't think I I did enough. Oh, for the person, uh, for the two Higgins ladies that said just the gray, I'm sorry. But we, we had pearls. I don't want you to think that your opinion did not matter. Everybody's opinion matters here. We're a very democratic show.
thing with spray paint is I have to spray paint in my garage now because it's been so cold here. I mean, it's getting, it's, it's a little bit more ornate in a way. I don't know. Hopefully Cora likes it. If she doesn't like it, she doesn't have to, she does not have to keep it. This is not a gift in the sense that, you know, I'm hiding it from her or anything. I don't, this is just something that I was making. I saw the thing jump. I'm coming. Red satin went away with black and silver. And oh, how pretty. I am highly offended. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ashley. Aww. Barbara, you were the deciding one. It's your mother's fault. See how I'm throwing your mother under the bus? It's your mother's fault. Blame your mother. I know, Barbara, I just threw you under the bus. I apologize to you, too. I time. What is this Florida? We lost the ballots. <laughs> We want a recount. Oh, gosh. I don't want to say anything political because I probably make everybody hate me now. But yeah, we're going to. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. So, you know what? I have another opinion, and we're going to go with the Ashley girls on uh, the Ashley. The, oh, geez. the uh, oh, and I got to spray a little bit more. Um, the Higgins daughters only. So hopefully they agree. So listen, talk to each other if you're near each other, please, because if you two don't agree, we're going to have a problem. Oh, my fingers again. You know, there's certain things. Fabric tack is just not something I like getting my fingers in. Okay, I need to. Oh, two more. I have to do two more. Okay, well, we, um, wait, two more? Yeah, one, two. One, two. Okay. We ran out of pearls that I spray painted because, you know, why spray paint enough? Okay. So we will continue the odyssey of this ball that's caused me more aggravation than I could possibly count. There it is. Because this is one of those balls that you put the, um, what did the polyurethane inside and then you let it drain out and then you put the silver, the glitter on the inside because I hate glitter. Everybody knows I hate glitter if it's uncontained. And um, <laughs> and like I did it and then all of a sudden, like a day later, I'd see these marks where the glitter didn't take. And I must have did this ornament three or four times. So I just said, you know what, if it works, it works. Otherwise, this is going to be an unidentified flying object in my neighbor's side yard except they have dogs thank you i'm gonna let this go over on the side ow I'm getting old I'm getting old i am old okay so now here's a real important one and i need my higgins daughters on this one you're gonna have to do a little imagining okay we're doing a little imagining here um this is all going to be one color when it's done there's going to be i took a candelabra throw in the, the chuck it bucket yeah there's been a lot going in the chuck it bucket i wanted to make it shorter i have an idea i saw it on somebody's youtube channel as a piece of decor not as a craft that they did but they had this low three um thing candle and i just thought it was barbara dodged me yesterday <laughs> they won't agree okay 
So it's going to get very ornate around here and around here. And this is a funnel. I put that sand in there and all of that stuff because I needed to make it. I needed to make some kind of thing to hold it up. Okay. Do you think now here comes the big one. We got all these wooden appliques from Amazon. May I say Amazon has been very busy at my house recently. Wooden appliques because I need to make a base. Okay. So we have this thing that I'm, I would, this is just a round, you know, those round things you get at Michael's. Uh, Christine, you, you adopted Christine. How sweet. Is she coming with her CPAP thing? I love that CPAP thing. Never even heard of it. Now I'm going to be looking up the CPAP thing when I get off. I really like that. See, okay. Now it's going to get ornate ladies. So here's your choices. Shannon Ashley. Am I putting it on this round thing here? Or now this one seemed a little too small for me. Let's look at it like that. And know that I'm going to be putting moles over here and everything else. The moles are probably going to be some of these things. And we're going to play around with them today, tonight. Okay. And I'm going to be putting moles on this thing. Oh, this thing. This thing. Let's get in the camera. Here's, a, here's one. Okay. Here's one. We're going to number them. Here's one. Here's two, which I think is a little just not enough weight. So maybe I'm going to, well, two. All right. It's not two. Here's three. And this big guy is four. But I thought he was a little too big. So I was going to put this one on top of this one. It's okay if it's ornate. You know what? I don't know if I like that. Hold on. I think what I think the one I liked was this on this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm giving you choices and I'm taking it back. I think I like this on this. So, okay. Whoopsie. But then is that going to look weird? Hold on. All right. That's going to look weird. Never mind. That won't work. Will this work? I'm trying to give you your choices. Okay. So it's either. Hmm. We're playing. Well, I feel like I'm playing the. Um, what's that game where they put the. Or the bean under one of the cups. All right. So it's either one. Or one of these other ones. <laughs> I don't know if that's too big. I think uh, you can't, can you see, well, the angle, how can you see it? Okay. The angle, I'm not sure if that's not too big. This will be number two. And let me see if we can figure out something else. Oh, that might look nice. See, I just think this one, see, I thought this one was too small, so I got another size up, and I think this one is too big. Yeah, it's too big. This is too big. Okay. I think, I, I'm, I think I'm narrowing it down so that there's only one choice here. I think it's this round stupid thing. Four, if it's sort of made four of this big one. Or, see, this is what I go through, guys. This is what I go through when I'm crafting is, what shall we do? Or I just wait and see, how about this on this? How's that? Oh. How's that? Oh, you can't see. How about this on this? Ashley, Shannon, do you like this on this?
We got yes, yes, yes. But you ladies, I love you. I love you both, but you don't count. Ashley, I like, not that you don't count. You always count. But on this, we're leaving it to Ashley and Shannon. You like this, Ashley? I like the last round thing on four. Okay. We got it. Look at that. The Higgins ladies have come through. That's what we're doing. I've been adopted. <laughs> I'm so glad, Christine, that you've been adopted. I really am. Now, the problem is, the problem is, how do I get this on this firm enough? I'm going to have to put a nail or a screw. Ooh, we're going to have to do the screws. Okay. But you know what? That is a problem for another day. Let's work on this. Let's get this out. Let's put this. Well, this I'm probably going to need. We're just cleaning up folks, because we need room on the desk. So just give me a second and I will get the new equipment to put some things, molds on that. Wood glue. Yes, I have wood glue. Um, Ashley, I'm going to glue it and, but there's um, some spaces because, oh, I'm holding it up to the screen, holding it up to my laptop. There's some divots in there. So I have to definitely Put a screw hole, which I can start to do that tonight, and then try to get it directly in the center. Glue, yes, wood glue and screws, just to make sure it doesn't come apart, because we like our things never to come apart. Okay, so let me just organize myself here, because I'm a little out of organization. I'm so glad where does everything go, because... Things will bother me, and I have to do this before I go to bed, so why not do it now? Everything is shut, and hold on, I'm coming. Hold on, I am getting some tools. If I could open any of the drawers, why won't this one open? Uh, what got stuck? Okay, we're not going to get those tools. What we're going to do first, we forgot those tools. Oh, I forgot what I needed over here. I'm coming. I needed this, and I needed this. Paper clay. That big one is beautiful. Thank you. Yes, add a flat base. Yes. Well, we're going to, we're going to, I, we can fill it in with some paper and stuff, paper clay or stuff like that. But the first thing we're going to do is because the, these, the wood on these appliques is stinky winky. You're tearing down the house. I'm doing all sorts of things here. Okay. Is, um, let's, let's organize ourselves. Let us organize ourselves so that we look like we are professionals that know what we're doing, which is not true, but oh, it's eight o'clock already. Look at that. Look at that. We're having so much fun. Okay. The pores on these things are horrendous. So this is a, my poor paintbrushes. This is a little trick that I sort of figured out from Bentley House Minis. So give a shout out to Ara. Using wood glue, I'm just going to put it in this to close up the pores. I do not like sanding, which I know is unusual because I was sanding when everybody came on, but ooh, this stuff dries. This stuff dries fast. Let's get it all in the groovies.
I might have to lightly sand this, but it'll even be easier with the glue on it because it'll make everything that is not smooth stiff. So sanding will be easier. And I don't know where Joanne is. I was wondering where she was myself. Oh, I'm getting glue all over. I was wondering where she was myself. Does anybody know if she's okay? Uh, all I want to know is if she's okay. Just, you know, she's usually here on my lives. So I haven't been, like, keeping in a lot of contact on um, chats simply because I've been rather busy trying to get the, like I said before, between getting garlands, getting the house done, decorating the new, you know, the new whatever, not the new, it, it's the same house. It's just everything has moved. So, and also doing some, you know, crafting and walking and cleaning. Yeah, you know, these holidays are lovely. They're lovely. And you know what? Instead of complaining, I am going to sit here and say that I am grateful that I have enough money and a home and I'm safe and I get to do all of this stuff. So I'm not going to complain. It's just I've been very busy. Because I happen to be one of the lucky ones. I am making a mess of my wood glue. I'm making a mess of this. But, you know, it'll get absorbed in. Okay, thank you, Barbara. They don't make these with the best wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. I, I don't even look. Because I think these are supposed to be painted anyway. But it's still nice to get the pores. And then a little sanding will have to be done. I mean, I'm going to be painting it probably many, many coats because, you know, I changed my mind on the paint or I got to paint it twice or whatever. Twice. I would be lucky if I only painted something twice. A little water will help spread this a little bit. Probably defeating the purpose, but you know what? That's okay. Just want to get it into all these holes. Am I off screen doing this? There's a lot of groovies in here. Just added a little water. It helps move it around. Look at, see, look at this mess here that they did. The, the wood is not sanded smooth. But then, you know, these aren't exactly expensive on Amazon. Oh, look at that, Christine. Could be. There doesn't seem to be any green, any, I don't think, anywhere. And if it is green, I, they probably use the cheapest wood they can get. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with this because the grain here, I know these are pine, but the grain... is a pain.
I like this tight bond, bond stuff, tight bond three. I was using Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Wood Glue, and it got, maybe this will get very thick, but it was very, very thick, and it was hard, to, you know, which I'm sure for woodworkers is good, but for, for what I was using it for, it was, you know, difficult to move around, and because and, I just sort of want it like, almost like a lacquer type thing, you know, the thinness of it. So I was so good at keeping my left hand clean, but now I'm getting wood glue all over it. And I'm getting wood glue over everything. Look at this mess that I have made. That's what's holding my house together. Wood glue, yay. I like, I'm liking wood glue a lot because um, Eileen's tacky glue is also very thick. And... You know, everything has got its place, but sometimes you just, since I am, I don't use hot glue a lot, some, and, I, you know, I, I use fabric tack for everything, basically. Um, you just want a glue that can run a little bit. Wood glue, yeah. I Well, I use fabric tack to fix everything usually, but I couldn't use fabric tack on this. Okay, so now we're going to move you over here. We're going to move you into the drying section over here. Move you over here and clean up this mess I made. <sighs> Which includes my hand on the table. And the glue bottle itself. Well, so much for keeping your left hand clean. Okay, so let's start doing some molds. Let me see. I don't know if this is the mold I'm going to like, but we're going to see. You only can, you really can only tell sometimes by, by checking it out, right? So let's do some paper molding and get my hands really messed up, which is not something I, beginning to hate the feel of paper clay on my hands. Oh, my water. Let's have some water. This mold is IOD's Dainty Flourishes. They're dainty and they're flourishes. And I love flourishes. I love flourishes, all these swoopy whoopy things. I like ribbons that have flourishes. Should have kept the gloves on. Yeah, I know. I should have. <sighs> So we're gonna we're gonna use the dainty flourishes. Let's see if we like this. Okay, let's get out my thing that I always my little the paintbrush that's only good because it's a well, the only one that's good there. They're all a mess, but this is a makeup brush, so I don't use it to paint with. And let's see what which one of the dent dent dainty flourishes we want to use. I'm thinking these might be two. They they're nice. You know what? I'm going to make one of these and one of these and see which one I like better. We're going to we're going to play. And the most it would cost me is nothing cuz I'll just take them out of the mold and put them back in the bag and Figure out something else. I love flourishes. Love them. I like gold ornate ribbon. They call it Venice, V E N I S E, ribbon. That's the red paint. I was thinking about all the things that I really 
well, using, I like grass stampings that have flourishes. This is a new thing of paper clay. So hopefully it will work. Maybe I only need up to here. Okay, so let's try it. Again, the only way to know is let's try to do the whole thing. And then we can always break it off. Right, yep. Paper clay. I've only, I've used this mold, but only with resin. So I'm hoping I can get, and if I have to use the resin, I will. But usually what I try to do, even when, I, if I'm not sure of how I want it, something to look, I'll use paper clay first. Because it all you can always um, <clears throat> take it out and just reuse it while you can't do the same with the resin. So Some people use a, you know, a tool designed to do this. I just like using my ruler. It's one less tool. And my ruler gets the job done. Okay. We were missing some there. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get this out. Sandra's here. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Oh, it's coming out nice. Let's not talk too soon. Oh, 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 oh. A little flourish at the end. Come on. There you go. Okay. Well, that got messed up, but that's okay. Let's move you over. Okay. It's okay if it breaks apart because these are so thin. Okay, what was the other one I was going to do? Oh, that's good. As long as she's getting back to health, that's good. Ah, uh, did I just did I just do that? Yes, I did. Move you over. Wait a minute, I got to get this much longer than that to try to get it. If I put it in the center. So what else can I tell you, ladies and gent, if he's still here, about? 
I told you about my decorating, my orange slices. This might be a real hard one to get out because it's very thin. But again, this is just, if I feel that I should do it in resin, I will because it's sort of, oh, yeah, it's keeping certain people in bed is also, so, and they, and they can understand dogs, you know, can understand to a certain degree, but people who are sick sometimes don't want to stay in bed. All right, let's see if we can get this one out in paper clay. Um, oh, okay, Shannon. Um, we only have, well, we have three courses if you include dessert. The first course is going to be an official Italian antipasto, which consists of, oh, goodness, uh, cheese is cheeses am i on screen um i usually you get something that is like a brie but the italian version which i like much better is called oh gosh tal talgiago i'm not sure if i'm saying it right um but i really like that one it's t-a-l I, I can get the spelling whatever so that's one cheese we also get one called Fontina, which is really, um, we used to call it Fonduta, but they call it now Fontina because everybody changes the names to everything. And then there's usually a third cheese. There's that, there's the Fontina, there's the Talgiango, and something else. And I forgot what the third cheese is. Okay, sometimes we, I don't like blue cheeses, so I don't get any blue cheeses. Um, I don't remember what the third cheese was. Sometimes we get the mozzarella balls, but they sort of really don't have that much of a flavor. Uh, so it might just be two cheeses. Then uh, nobody really eats meat except for maybe William. So we're going to get him a little salami. We used to get two or three different salamis, but now it's just one salami. We're going to have black olives, green olives, um, peppers, mushrooms. What else? Oh, artichoke hearts. Those I all get prepared. The peppers, the mushrooms, and the artichoke hearts, and of course the olives. All of this is really prepared. Then there's always Italian tuna fish on the table because you're supposed to have some kind of fish. So we always have Italian tuna fish. Uh, we have Italian bread and crackers. I was going to bake the bread, but I'm not sure I'm going to have the time to, to bake bread because my bread is usually takes, a, you know, uh, it's either sourdough or even if you're making a baguette, it takes a little while to do that. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough time the day or the day before just to get the bread ready plus we go to this place called uncle giuseppe's and that usually has nice italian bread cora likes breadsticks um we usually have uh fennel on the table we call it finocchio but it's called fennel in, in English, my mom used to have celery and, and carrot sticks, but I don't like either one of them really that much, so we won't be having them. Um, I think that's it. I think I'll probably put some nuts out, some walnuts and hazelnuts, because those are nice to have with the cheeses. And we just eat like pigs for a while. I think that's it. Hopefully, I'm sure. And then we're going to have the raviolis, and then we're going to have the dessert. So basically, I'm not cooking that much. I'm just 
putting food that we purchase out and we're going to purchase it on Christmas Eve, which is our normal thing. Megan and I, when Cora doesn't come in, Megan and I go to Uncle Giuseppe's on Christmas Eve. And it used to be jam packed. It is getting a little bit less crowded now, but it's a lot of fun. They have Christmas music. They usually have Italians, Christmas music and just the cheese, the guys behind the cheese counter are absolutely crazy. They yell at it, everybody laugh and yell, and it's fun. Um, then, uh, yeah, then the homemade raviolis with homemade tomato, because I'm going to make the sauce, the tomato sauce. And then we also have it with butter and garlic. So we have served them two different ways. I'm the one who loves the butter, olive oil, and garlic, and everybody else likes the sauce. Um, let's see. Okay. Not sure I'm gonna like this one. I think this one is too. Oh, we can wrap it around to fit. Okay. Um, and then for dessert, oh, you know, like usually Christmas meals that I remember from way back were a sit down affair where you ate the whole damn day long and nobody can eat like that anymore or, you know, it's just too much. So, um, I might cut up some, usually an Italian dessert or what I knew was you'd have cheese, uh, you'd have cheese, um, fruit after the meal and after the meal the dessert one of the desserts was fruit and nuts and so i just might put the fruit out with the antipasto and just do it a little differently and um because dessert usually if we want to eat it we're going to have panettone we're going to have panforte we're going to have toroni and i know these are all italian dishes that i'm just rattling off and um okay let's see if i like this one better over which one i like better i think i like the bigger one and then the christmas cookies that megan is going to be baking so I think, I think I like, okay, let's take this off. I think I like this side better, the right side, because it's, it's a little bit more and it covers everything a little bit more. Um, and I think I'm going to have to do it in resin. What is, what do you ladies think? This is nice, but it's very dainty. And I think I want something, and then maybe we can take that and wrap it around here. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I think I like the bigger side better. See, and this is where resin would be good because this is going to flop. So what I would have to do is get how I wanted it to, if I was going to make this in paper clay, get how I wanted it to be, and then put it on something flat. You like the bigger side? Okay. That's, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to be doing that on both sides. I can use this somewhere else because I have to decorate this area down here. I don't, this is not going to stay the way that's looking. So I'm going to do something with the decorative. Maybe I'll be going like that and then going around. But this is definitely going to be have to be done in resin. Yep. And I can continue it. Well, this I might be able to do in paper clay. I don't know. <clears throat> I got to see what I'm doing. And then have one coming down like on the other side too. Something like that. Or make this. So this is what I do. I sit here and I play with stuff. I, lo I love playing with these molds. Except that everything is falling apart. Yeah, I like that. 
Great, bigger side, bigger side, I like the bigger side. Okay, so the bigger side it is. <clears throat> okay, so let's take this. See, now when you're playing with the paper clay, you can just all squish it, you know, and you're not working. Um, And oh, and Cora, <laughs> Cora's been sending, I think I would mention this, Cora's been sending stuff over for, uh, I have boxes in my room. Oh, we also, yeah, we have some other things that I don't want to say because I think one of my children might be listening. Um, oh, and I wanted to, I wanted to do something like put a, a, a round circle around here, but I have to see. Once I get these on, these side pieces, then we can see. Okay. All right, so I'm not going to pour the resin tonight, but we at least have a direction in which we are going. So I have a lot of what I know what I can do with my little mini candelabra once everything dries. So that was good. I got direction. Direction is good because then I, I know what the heck I'm doing. And I'm going to pour the, when I pour the resin, because I'm going to need uh, two and two because one on both sides. So I have to clean this out of all of the paper clay. I don't want to have any paper clay here in this thing when I'm pouring the resin. And, uh, oh, I like this too. I might be making one of those. That might be fun. For something I'm not quite sure where but that would be fun but I don't know if I'm going to do that in resin or in the paper clay we'll see we and then we have other molds that we can look that have complementary pieces that I can might be able to use so this is going to be like a um design as you go get one piece in and then figure out what the rest of it looks like but in the meantime, I think I can go back to giving another coat of paint to my lovely, what was I using to paint these with? My uh, thingies, these thingies. I think it dried enough. Okay, so let's go more red. <clears throat> Oh, this one I could use. And then we can figure out pretty much it's 831. We can pretty much call it a night. We got I got some things accomplished that I wanted to accomplish. I'm putting the glove back on. I wish you guys were here. It would be so much fun. For Christmas. Oh, that's a nice color red. What are you guys having for Italian greens are big deal in Youngtown? So good. Escarole, whatever. Oh yeah. I love raw escarole, chopped fine in a salad. Oh, it's so good. I know that most people have it cooked, and I like it cooked, but I really like it raw if you chop it fine. My mom always used to like cook it, um, boil it, and and then put like um, boil it with garlic. And well, she didn't use she wasn't big on garlic, but she boil boil the escarole in the garlic and then um, you know drain it and put it in olive oil. That was pretty good, but I prefer it raw. On my way. Aw, I wish we were all together too. So what do you what do you guys what do you guys what do you ladies are is anybody having a feast? 
And I'm going to keep thinking about what's the third cheese. We always have three cheeses on the table, and I can't remember what the third one was. Hey, Megan, what's the third cheese? The Fontina, the Tagiago, and what's the other one? I don't know if she can hear me. That's where I'm getting, you know, that I know there's three. What? Oh, she's talking to Eddie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hopefully they're not fighting. Meg! Uh. Oh, I, <laughs> I know what they're talking about. Never mind. Eddie got, I'll tell you real quick. Eddie got Megan, you know, Megan told Eddie to what to get him. And um, he gets the package. And what does he do? I swear. And it came from Amazon and they didn't put it in a big box. They just packed it in that box that it came in. And he left it out downstairs right on the, uh, on a table that Megan would pass. I swear that boy doesn't have the sense God gave him. Okay. Um. What do we say? As, uh, we are doing the traditional meal, ham, turkey, on Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Day, we do snacks and I watch. Oh, that's lovely, Shannon. Hey, Lynn, how are you? It's late for me. Just saying hi now, feeling the best, full of cold. Hope you all doing okay. Take care. Hey, Lynn, well, I'm glad you stopped by. How sweet. Hope everything's going okay. I, yeah. Uh, I know, Christine, I'm sorry about that. Chicken and dumplings, nice, Sandra. I'm having a friend over. Very nice. That I love chicken and dumplings. I'm having a friend over. We're having crab legs, shrimp, chunk potatoes, baked ham roll. Ooh, nice, Martha. Excellent. That sounds like a delicious meal, too. We're all having delicious meals. For us... I, uh, going back to what Shannon said, for us, uh, Christmas Eve, we're supposed to, I, I don't know if it's an Italian thing or an Italian Catholic thing, that whatever, I'm not quite sure which one it was. And since Cora isn't here, she can't tell me because I don't really remember what it was. We're supposed to only have fish on um, Christmas Eve. So when they come over, um, when we go to Uncle Giuseppe's, Megan won't eat fish. I'm not sure Eddie's going to eat fish. If William wants some shrimp or they like lobster tails, we'll probably buy that. So that's what Christmas Eve is. And then uh, I used to make muscle, mussels because everybody liked mussels. My two kids liked mussels at the time when Megan was eating um, meat or fish. And I'd have to kill the mussels. And I have to tell you, I really didn't enjoy doing that at all. That was not fun. I was like, ugh. <sighs> you know, put them in the boil, like put them in the boiling water. I used to sit there and I for like five minutes, I'm like, oh, please die, please die. I, it was just, I'm not real good with killing things. I'm really not. Thank goodness for butchers and stuff like that. Because if, well, I don't eat that much meat anymore anyway, because I would never be eating meat if I had to do that on a daily basis. Am I running out of, no, okay. Now, some Italian traditions, they think they're supposed to have seven fishes on the table. I don't know. I don't really remember. I, I never had, we never did the seven fishes. My mother used to, I think, make shrimp scampi a lot for Christmas, for Christmas Eve. And at the time, because shrimp was such a pain in the neck to clean it, you know, you had to buy it and clean it and everything. It was a real treat. Now you can buy it deveined and everything frozen and it's you know it's it was different back then because it was a lot more work 
so you didn't have it as readily and now it's much more readily available so it's not you know yeah no shannon i'm not i'm not really i was never really good i was always I'd, ha I'd have to have them sitting in the sink in the cold water with the cornmeal in it so that supposedly they clean out. Who the, f I don't know. That's what they do for clams. And then I'd get the sauce boiling hot and throw them in and put the cover on and sit there and feel guilty. It was like, ugh. So I'm sort of glad nobody eats them anymore. <laughs> I'm really glad nobody eats them anymore. And then I always made too many and they don't really taste good the next day. Ugh, what a mess. You know, you always got to make too much. And I am grateful that I have too much food. Let me let me let me not make that sound like it was a complaint because that's horrible to complain that we have too much food when there are people that are actually starving in the world, really. I don't know where the next meal is coming from. And I, and I, you know, first world problem. I should be ashamed that I would complain about it. But yeah, whatever. It just wasn't my cup of tea to do that. As, but, you know, the kids liked it. So we did it, you know, whatever. And um, now I'm just going to be grateful that they don't like it. You never thought of it which way, that it was killing them or that it's a first world problem. I'm not quite sure because I was talking too fast. Okay. Megan, if you can hear me now, which is the third cheese that we get? I think she can hear me now. She's in the room right next door to me. She's got great hearing. Okay. I like clams too, but I it's another one where I used to, I made chipino a couple of times, which is all the seafood. You put it in, and I used to make it in the tomato base. You put clams, you put the mussels, you put the shrimp, you put swordfish, and I don't know what else. And I can't even remember because I can't remember the third cheese. So, um, yeah, I, I did that a couple of times because I don't usually make clams either that much. And again, you know, it was delicious. I have to, oh, sardines. That's right. You put sardines in it and a little anchovy, I think. Just a little anchovy because you put that in the base when you put, you're sauteing the onion and the garlic. You put in a little anchovy and it gives it a richness. Um, of flavor, but that was another dish I didn't like making because of the throwing the clams and the mussels in and whatever. Okay. We are done with that. 8.42. Yeah, Chupino is nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get that. Let's get that. So we got some things accomplished here. We got the um, the candelabra. I know which way to go. I finished. I got to just spray paint some more pearls. Oh, let me let me get you the paint. Well, I'm here so you can see it. I know which molds to use. Ouchie. Oh my gosh. The knees aren't as good as they used to be. What am I getting you? Okay, the paint. Okay. This is the um, the Krylon shortcuts. So you don't get much. Oh, it's only three ounces, not even six ounces. It's three ounces. But the gold is pretty nice. On this, like a lot of gold paints I don't like. Let me switch over because I'm not going to be uh, crafting anymore. We're pretty much done for the, for the evening. Let me switch my camera so I can see. Well, first, let me turn the light off. 
There we go. Oh, everything got dark. Look at that. How nice. And there goes. Is this it? And mirror. Okay. And X. And let's get chat up again. Okay. Hello. So, yeah, um, next week, Wednesday, let's see. Christmas is on Monday, right? Megan told me Christmas is on Monday. So I think I'll be able to go live on Wednesday. Um, I think so. Yeah. And, uh, and hopefully I'll know the third cheese by then. Because Megan says, I don't know, she can't hear me. Yes, Monday. Good. Thank you, Shannon. Um, so because Cora's coming in, she's flying in on Saturday, and she won't get here until later, but she's going to the hotel, which is by me, and then um, we're picking her up on Christmas Eve, So, and then that's Saturday. So Friday, I have to make... I don't know. I have to make the filling and the dough or Saturday. I'm not sure which day I'm supposed to make it. I think I can make it on Friday if I start later in the day and keep it because you have it refrigerated. And yeah, so I don't really have to start cooking, but I have to continue the ongoing cleaning dilemma. Oof, is this house got, you know, like I know that there was spots all over the walls because when you don't paint they get spots and i'm not the, the craziest cleaner like right now there's spots all on this wall after eddie painted this because this is eddie's room the whole nine yards you won't know about that but the kitchen i i swear megan's been cleaning the kitchen it's looking i can't eat a um you can't eat oh okay um so uh, I think I, I think I have enough time to come on next week if I have anything. I'm hoping I'll have something because I'd like to see you people because Christmas is on a Monday. She's going to be here uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday, we're all feeling good. The weather's nice. We might go into the city. And then she's leaving on Wednesday in the afternoon-ish. So I know that the day after... Christmas, I probably won't be on. So I'll try to make it on. I don't like clams, but Billy loves them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I do, but I, I, you know, it's not something I crave. I used to crave shrimp a lot more because, again, like I was saying, shrimp was a lot harder to get. I mean, now I can get frozen shrimp that's been deshelled and pretty cleaned from Trader Joe's and just cook that. And I used to um, cook that all the time. So it's lost its um, treatness, not, not treatness, it's specialty or that you didn't, you can have it all the time. And um, it used to be that we only had it really, you know, very rarely during the year. And now I could have it, I could have it every day of the month if I wanted to, you know, because it's so available and it's so easy because I know that I used to, clean and deshell the, you know, deshell it and then clean the, the poop line. And it was a pain in the neck. It really was. But now everything is so much easier. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I should, I'm going to try to come on next week, even if I'm not doing like, you know, tonight, what am I doing? I painted some things and we got the opinion poll, which was very important to me. So I know a direction in which to go, but, um, so it might be something as simple as doing that. Uh, I have some really cool ideas that are coming up, but I just want to get like rid of some of this little stuff. I, I think I decided that I'm going to make my um, mice, because I didn't finish Scrooge. I started Scrooge. I didn't finish him, and I just sort of left him there because I wasn't motivated because the problem was I wanted to do the full set. And I was debating whether it was, you know, because it's really not cost efficient for me to do the full set, especially if it doesn't sell. So, but I really want to do it. So I just decided, you know what, June, 
it was holding me back from doing any of it, knowing that I could, you know, like debating whether I should do it or not. And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. And if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell, but it's exciting. It's something I want to do. And I'll just, something else I have. So um, you're hoping you can come on Saturday or you're hoping you can go on live on Saturday. Which one? I'm getting confused now. I'm sorry. So, uh, oh, you're hoping you can go live on Saturday. Okay, come on Saturday. I was thinking everybody's go live. Right. Okay, well, let me know. Um, let's see. What was I saying? I don't even remember. So I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing the Scrooge characters in mice. And uh, I have a lot of ideas. And I've been, you know, like the thing is I've been saving stuff that I've had because I've always had this idea in my head. So I have a lot of the stuff that I would use for their outfits just because I've saved it or or saw this or you know, whatever. So I think I'm gonna do it. And what the heck? That's it. I'm just going to do it. And then I have some other exciting things that I want to start trying to do. Um, I know this is the boring stuff, but we hopefully going forward, we'll get more exciting and do more fun things. Um, and that's about it. So it's 8.50. I feel bad that I couldn't do it less. But um, hold on. It's why I can't read it because it's but uh wait 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 but josie was in pain yes okay that i understand yes no sandra you need it you have to take care of your priorities last week i didn't go live and i don't even remember why i didn't go live who knows um maybe because they didn't have anything yeah so i have quite a few different projects that i have in the back burner that i want to get done um, everybody, I think, saw Archibald. He was posted on my Facebook page. And um, so we're going to get these things done. Now, these napkin rings should be done by Friday the latest, hopefully. Maybe I'll work on this. Maybe I won't touch the chandelier that much, just get the pieces so we can work on the little chandelier next week. Uh, oh, the, the glue is almost dry. That, the wood glue is almost dried on this. That's nice. It might need another coat, though. And um, thank you, Sandra. And um, so that'll be it. So next week I'll be on, but the week after that probably not because I'll probably be exhausted. Um, the whirlwind. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think I'll just need to sit down and hold on to the couch and make sure it's not moving. So... I will see everybody before the holidays. Um, and if any of you celebrate something that I'm missing, happy holiday, whatever that is. And I'm so glad you all came in. We had fun chatting. I hope Joanne's okay. Uh, and that's about it. That's all I got. That's all she wrote. So and maybe Cora will be here next week or maybe not. She might be packing. Who knows? All right. So. Uh, thanks for coming in. Love you all. And as always, have fun creating beauty. Good night, folks. Now let me see how to end this thing. There we go.